Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about that Instagram trend I know you've seen. The Christmas lights cut crease. So it's like a cut crease, it has like little Christmas lights. It's like super cute. And I just wanted to show you guys how to do that look. But of course, I'm taking some liberties. But if you guys just wanted to recreate the cut crease itself, you can stop there, do a normal look from then on out, you know, have that be the focus. But you know me. You know me by now, right? We, yeah, I don't have to explain this. I don't know. The first things first, I'm going to do one eye off camera and then I'm going to be right back. And I'm back. <laughs> so this is what I created. <laughs> created. <laughs> Anyways, well, my first step was to prime my eyes. I used the same primer I use every time, and it's the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And then over top of that, I used a little powder just to make sure that all of the shadows were going to blend out easier. So the first step is your transition shade. So I'm using something I just got in my BoxyCharm. It's so cute. The packaging is adorable. It's from Storybook Cosmetics, and it's the Fairy Tales book. Look at this packaging. So I'll be using a mix of this shade and this shade and taking that in my crease. And winging it out at the outer corner, really extending it out there because I love to bring my shadows out far. Taking that same combination and going up underneath the lash line. I'll be going into the shade Merry Men and using a BMX 466 brush. So with this I'm taking this in my crease but also toward my lash line at the outer corner and extending it out as well. Now taking it out at the outer corner. Taking that up underneath your lash line as well. I'm using this brush from Aesthetica. I've never heard of that brand before either, so I, I don't know. And I'm just contouring my eye bags like I always do. I'm going to be going back in with the fluffy crease brush and those transition shades, blending over top of the very edges of where I laid down the green. I'm going to keep blending that out and this is a Real Techniques base shadow brush. Now going in with the shade Forest and using a MAC 219 brush and with the shadow I'm deepening up the outer corner and also deepening up that crease to start building up that cut crease. So taking it toward my lash line and then blending it up into the crease. I'm keeping my cut crease pretty high, considering you have to have enough room to create these light bulbs. Taking the shade Forest up underneath the lash line as well. Step is to create the wire, the wire for the Christmas lights. To create the wire, I'm using Hank and Henry liquid eyeliner in Blickety Black. I really like Hank and Henry products. You guys should check them out. So now to get both sides even. <laughs> I pretty much won't breathe through this whole part, so. I'm about to be real silent. What's nice is this liner is also really easy to work with. It's very consistent in its formula. It's very smooth and it's very black. It's blickety black. Oh shit, I threw it. <laughs> So once you have that line down and you've spent two hours on just perfecting it, you're gonna need 
something to cut your crease. And I'm using a cream metallic green. This is a wet and wild paint palette. And I'm using the shade, that shade, it doesn't have a name. <laughs> to apply it, I'm using a Sephora precision concealer brush. I just got a notification today that my Jeffree Star X Shane Nauseam Conspiracy Palette was out for delivery. <laughs> oh, bitch. I've been waiting. Taking that metallic shade right on top of my eye bags and in my inner corner. Going right over top of that shade, the Anastasia Self Made Palette and the shade Isla. I think it's called. <laughs> Now to create the Christmas lights. I'm gonna be using the Mehron Paradise Makeup AQ8 color palette, Beach Berry, Amazon Green, Wild Orchid, and Lagoon Blue. I'm actually using the brush that came in that palette because it's a tiny little paintbrush and it's perfect. It's the Mehron Paradise Makeup AQ812 brush. These are water activated paints, so you're going to have to dip in a little water to activate it. I'm going to go in with yellow first. And to me, the light bulb colors don't have to be the exact same and in, in the exact same position on each side. Patterning, patterning, patterning. I don't know. So I'm going to start by applying a little color right at the base. And then what I like to do is make the base a little thin and bow it outwards and then bring it back in so that the tip is pointed. So I'm gonna go back over the yellow one more time. Then I'll clean my brush off, which is pretty easy with the water-based paint. I just dip it into the water and um, brush it on a paper towel. So the next shade I'm gonna go into is red. And again, you're placing your base, going a little wider out and dipping it back in toward the tip of the light. <sighs> I cannot breathe like this whole time. Like I am not breathing. Oh, I just made a thick light bulb. She did. And then once they're dry, you can go on to the next part, which is outlining them with that same black liner, the Hank and Henry Blickety Black. Blickety Black. This is where you're going to have to like stabilize your arm somehow. I like to rest my hand directly on my chin. Makeup is intense, guys. <laughs> I didn't line them all the way up to the very tip. I outlined the very edges of it and kind of like faded it up toward the tip. I did this to kind of create more of like a glow coming off the tip. So once you have your lines down, you can go back over with all of those shades and clean up anything that you may have made a mistake on. If you made the outline a little too thick, these paradise makeup shades, they will cover the black back over it. So if you go back over, you can clean up those lines. Now to create that glow, the highlight. I use the NYX liquid liner in white. So you want to pick kind of toward one side versus the other and make just a thin line. And then repeat that through all of them. And that's what creates that 3D effect. So I want to highlight my inner corners using the Artist Couture Diamond Lights Finisher in Icy Girl. And right up underneath my brow bone as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my face off camera because I'm literally doing the same base routine that I've done a million times. So I know that's going to like be really boring for you guys. So I'm just going to, I'm going to save you. Okay. I'm back. I did my base and my shirt's still here. It's just pulled down. <laughs> and 
it's time for the neck because I always have to do my neck. I don't know. I just love painting my neck. It's fun. Going back into the Mayron palette and into that green. Mm. The shape I'm creating here is going to be wider around whatever the hell these are called. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but I have big ones. Whatever this is, like, it's, I know it's some type of muscle. I don't know. It builds up fast on me. When I start strength training, it's like I turn into a fucking bodybuilder. Anyways, taking it wide out here and then we're going to be pointing it down in between the collarbone. So taking it wide and then taking it in. And down. I'm trying to create more of my texture horizontally than vertically, like that. I'm trying not to be too perfect. It's hard for me. Ew, that was such a wet mouth pop. It was gross. It sucked. And then I'm going to be creating a line of wire that goes around my neck and then having it kind of trailing off and going around the collarbones and shoulders. I'm gonna not use the Hank and Henry liner for this because it's such a big area. Um, so I'm gonna go into the Mayron Paradise makeup. It's a single and it's black. Same thing, it's water activated. Oh, she thick! Oh, I can't wait! I actually want to make the Christmas tree thing that I made here wider. So now to create the wire. I'm going to be using a Luxie 246 precision crease brush. Going into that black, I just want it to appear like it's draping. So I'm taking it in a curve down my neck. Now I'm creating another line. I'm taking that right across my face. Now I don't want to create too many cross sections here, so I'm going to stop on the head and I'm going to go back to the colors. First I'm going to go in with blue and create my light bulbs and they will be larger bulbs. I'm going to take one on my face first. Ooh, the highlight! Okay, girl. So creating that same shape as on the eyes. Like I did before, I'm gonna be kind of scattering the colors around. I'm gonna do a blue bulb down here too. I'm actually gonna make it seem like this one here has wrapped up around my ear and is coming back down. Okay, so I've laid down some of the blues. And now I'm going to go into another shade. Brushy, brushy, brush! I'm going to go into red next. Love you. Bye. The next thing to do is to outline all of the light bulbs. I'll do a couple and then go off camera again. <laughs> Okay, so that's an example of some of them. Once you have the outlines done throughout, you're going to create the highlight and use that white eyeliner to do that. So I'll show you on a few of them. You create that little sheen. 
I'm gonna go off camera to finish up the rest of this. Okay, I'm back. And I highlighted all my little light bulbs. They're all outlined. I also put some black in my waterline. And now we're gonna go back to the eyes and I'm gonna put on some lashes and mascara. Okay. I'm gonna use the Baddington lashes in Monroe 3D. And I will be right back. back. Lashes on, mascara on. So, how lips. There is a whole lot going on here. I should probably go nude. So I'm gonna use the Jante Blue Lip Liner in Dark Natural. This is my go-to nude lip liner. It is amazing. I think I got it in BoxyCharm. This shade is like my lip color. I'm gonna add a little gloss in the center of my lips because I feel like this is a really matte lip right now. It's just really matte and my lips are really dry. So I'm gonna use the Iconic London Plumping Lip Gloss in Love Struck. Okay, it is time for me to set this crusty ass face. I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist as usual. If I like seem a little down or moody, it's because I am. <laughs> this day. Ah. Shit, I'm wet. I may have sprayed a little too much. <laughs> Here's the finished look. And you guys know I'm gonna like finesse my hair and make this look a little, you know, better and take out that. <laughs> so I will be right back. Okay, so here's the finished look. If you recreate this look, you gotta tag me in it. I want to see it so bad. Even if it's like just the cut crease or it's inspired by the look, I just hope you guys enjoyed this look. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Please follow me on social media. Subscribe. Please subscribe. What are you doing? Are you, are you subscribing right now? Right there. Notification bell. Smash the like button. Have I missed anything? I don't know. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye. I love Christmas.